So it is now, well, I don't know if it's officially Christmas time, but uh, certainly Thanksgiving is upon us or has left us. So as we count down Christmas every year, we like to remember that time that uh, I got to go on CNN and really in many respects, and I know this is sort of unchristmas like of me, but I mocked a guy from the Concerned Women for America over the war on Christmas. Now, as a big war on Christmas warrior, um, sad to say, I don't take it probably as seriously as I should. Uh, maybe that's why, frankly, we're losing in the war on Christmas. Christmas still seems to exist and be prevalent, and people still seem to celebrate it. But uh, we'll keep, keep fighting. Uh, we are in the trenches every day. But uh, this is from 2005 on CNN. Somehow they invited me on, and I got to say this. And I should also add, too, uh, it worked out so well because they wanted to start with the guy from Concerned America, uh, Women from America, but his microphone was screwed up. So they had to start with me, and you'll see by the time it got to this guy, he had a bit of a hole to dig himself out of. And uh, I was very proud that I could actually dig that hole that he fell into. All right, here it is. Well, Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays? A Christmas tree or a holiday tree? Which should it be? Depends on whom you ask. We've seen controversy, most notably prompted by the White House. It sent out cards, this card, matter of fact, wishing a holiday season of hope and happiness. No mention of Christmas. Some thoughts now on the subject. Sam Teeter hosts the show Majority Report on Air America Radio. Bob Knight is the director of the Culture and Family Institute. It's affiliated with the Christian conservative organization Concerned Women for America. Gentlemen, great to have you with me. Thank Thanks for having us on. All right, well, let's start with the holiday card. What do you think, Sam? Well, uh, listen, you know, as far as the war on Christmas goes, I feel like we should be waging a war on Christmas. I mean, I believe that Christmas, it's, it's, it's almost proven that uh, Christmas has uh, nuclear weapons, can be a, an imminent threat to this country, that um, they have operative ties with terrorists. And I believe that we should sacrifice thousands of American lives uh, in pursuit of this war on Christmas and uh, hundreds of billions of dollars of taxpayer money. Well, Sam, is it a war on Christmas, a war on Christians, a war on po over political correctness, or just a lot of people with way too much time on their hands? Well, I would say probably, if I was to be serious about it, too much time on their hands. But I'd like to get back to the operational ties between Santa Claus and Al-Qaeda. <laughs> I don't think that exists. Bob? Well, uh, we have <laughs> intelligence. Out here. We have intelligence. You, we have intelligence you have intel. Like and where yeah. exactly does your intel come from? Well, we have tortured an elf. And that's, uh, it's actually how we got the same information from Al Libby. It's exactly the same way the Bush administration got this uh, info uh, about the operational ties between Al Qaeda and Saddam. Okay, Bob Knight. Uh, Sam is, is tying in now the lack of information regarding weapons of mass destruction and yeah. somehow moving that into Santa Claus. Uh, help me out here. What's going on? I mean, is, is this a, a, a war on Christians, a war on Christmas? Is this too much political correctness? Yeah, that, well, it was very, first I want to compliment him on his, on his dry humor, but uh, this is actually a very serious subject because a lot of people are waking up to realize that the war on Christmas is really uh, the culmination of a war on faith and the idea that the public square has to be cleansed of any religious expression, particularly Christian religious expression. You know, at one time, Happy Holidays was a welcome addition to Merry Christmas, so you wouldn't say the same thing over and over again. But a lot of people now see it as a substitute, and it's very gratuitous at times. And it's actually insulting when you're talking about Christmas Day or a Christmas tree, and you can't bring yourself to use the word for fear of offending someone. Uh, in the name of diversity, we're a less free country when that happens. It's interesting, Sam, because, I mean, this is a time where... I if anything, we want to be even more sensitive to diversity, considering everything that's happening with regard to war on terror. We're learning so much more about different religions, different ethnicities, and trying to become more of one versus uh, being segregated. Yeah, well, Kara, I mean, listen, the, uh, I would like Bob to tell me who is the person who has been offended by uh, someone saying Merry Christmas to them. I've never met that person. I don't celebrate Christmas, but uh, if someone says Merry Christmas to me uh, and I either think, well, it's a little bit odd. It's like me saying happy birthday to you on my birthday. But, uh, you know, no one cares. But I'll tell you this. As no, we care. wage the war on the war on the war on the war on Christmas on our radio show, 
News Corp, Fox News, those people who have started this uh, entire uh, uh, war on Christmas meme, fake war, they're having a holiday party. President Bush saying happy holidays. Tokyo Rose, Laura Bush, saying happy holidays to her dogs in the video. I'm sure you've seen it. I mean, these are the things that we should be talking about when we are waging this war in Iraq. We should be equating it to the war on Christmas. What else would Bob Knight have an opportunity to do? How else would he get on television if he wasn't I, pretending to be attacked? You know, this would be funny, except it is serious to a lot of people who have seen their faith cleansed from the public square systematically. Well, are you suggesting, Bob, that someone can't celebrate Christmas in America? I mean, tell I'm me about, about the person who can, can escape I these get a word in here. Go uh, ahead, Bob. Go I'm, ahead, Bob. I'm talking about things like in Ridgeway, Wisconsin, where the school children in the public school were told they couldn't sing Silent Night. They, so they substituted O Cold Night. You know, I think when you take Jesus out of anything, it gets pretty cold, uh, so it's apt. But it's outrageous. Well, they had children actually singing a bastardized version of Silent Night. Well, uh, Bob, you see this Christmas may come trees shock called you, Bob, holiday trees. But, but I don't consider Jesus the Messiah. And so if you're going to ask me to praise Jesus, I'm going to be a little offended. Well, I'm now, gonna... I don't think the singing of the song that you can find other songs to sing. So what about Silent Night? So, so what? So because you're offended, none of those other kids can celebrate the great heritage of Christmas I'm not the one who said they couldn't music. do that. No, I'm not the See, one who said that. See, you're a Grinch, But you're trying That's to force... You are. Why are you trying to force conversions on people? Let me ask you guys... Let me, let me, conversions yes, you by are, singing sir. a Christmas carol. Absolutely. Let, let, me ask, let me ask you guys about the pressure that's been put on, on stores, for example. Uh, American Family Association called for the boycott of Target stores the weekend after Thanksgiving, accusing the chain of banning the phrase Merry Christmas from its stores, a charge that Target denies. Pressure from conservative groups uh, look like it has an impact here. Complaints from the Catholic League. Walmart agreed to create a Christmas page on its website rather than a holiday page. And then Macy's, which is you know perhaps uh, more closely associated with Christmas than any other retailer, sent activists a letter touting its use of Merry Christmas in ads and store windows after it was the target of a small-scale boycott last year. I mean, this is pretty amazing, all these boycotts of pressuring all these stores, these businesses, Bob. Well, these businesses are taking millions and millions of dollars in from Christians in particular and others who celebrate Christmas giving gifts uh, in the name of the Christmas season and yet they're so worried about offending people like my opponent here that they don't want to mention the word Christmas people Bob, are sick and tired it's the holiday time I'm not your opponent uh, but well, I do yeah, agree with Bob yeah, you are. I do agree with Bob that I think what should happen is companies should calculate how much money they're getting from people who are celebrating Christmas and provide exactly that much amount of Merry Christmas because that is exactly how I would want any type of religious holiday to be celebrated. Would we, you know, be, I, would we be I having the same argument about in, Hanukkah? I'm curious. What, would we have the same uh, would, argument about Hanukkah? Hanukkah is not the same as Christmas. It's not a major holiday for one thing and, and this is the Christmas season. No. That's why billions of dollars are really being spent. It's Christmas. Well, it's also the winter solstice for a minute. Too. I don't know, Bob. People just might so argue that, that, that Hanukkah is just as big as Christmas. Well, no, I, I mean, I would have to agree with Bob. I would have to agree with Bob on that. None of them okay. says Hanukkah is as big no, as Hanukkah Christmas. No, Hanukkah is not a high holiday. Our high no, holidays are Rosh Hashanah and Yom right. Kippur, which I'm sure Bob is been, has been protesting why there aren't uh, more Yom Kippur sales or uh, Rosh Hashanah sales. Well, uh, I mean, why shouldn't they be, right, Bob? Well, if that was associated with that holiday, then maybe I would join you, but uh, it never has been. Bob, so have you ever protested issue. Martin Luther King what? Day not being celebrated? I mean, do you resent when people don't say Happy Martin Luther King Day a month out in advance? You know what? Look, let's, let's put let's, this in perspective. Put it, let me, be, and, and Bob, I want you to be able to respond, but what's interesting, okay. the CNA USA Today Gallup poll, uh, the question was, is it okay for people to say Merry Christmas? 88% said yes, 11% yeah. said no. Yeah, well, 96% of Americans celebrate Christmas. Uh, so why would we care about the, so what's the offending war, the 4% that get offended by it? Uh, yeah, I don't I mean, know anybody who'd be offended well, by someone wishing someone a Merry why Christmas. Why do we care? Why are we making all the changes, Bob? I mean, we do. Yeah, we Bob, do. Bob, where's the war? Where's Where the are the war? battle lines? I mean, you can tell the me that line, Silent Night I'll can't be sound in one school in Wisconsin. That's and, just one example. That's not the totality. Well, so don't well, do, what create is the that totality? man. The totality is 80, you brought it up, the totality is 88% of the American population has no problem with it. You don't care about the people who don't celebrate Christmas, fine. 
But I don't celebrate Christmas, and I don't care, so why are we wasting everybody's time? It's so I, that you can fundraise. That's why, Bob. I'd like and to I put think this you know in that's perspective. Bob, i got to let you have the final, final thought, Bob. Okay. You know, when the Nazis moved into Austria in 1936, oh, that is offensive, Bob, they immediately to raise removed Christmas Nazis. from the schools. Uh, that is read a, about it. Hold, hold on, on. Let, let Bob, hold on, Sam. You let Bob make his let point. Speak, let Bob, let Bob make so his point. Go ahead, Bob. Okay. Maria Trapp wrote the story of the Trapp Singers that's uh, in The Sound of Music. And she said she sent her kids to school after the Nazis took over, and they came home and said, Mama, we can't say the word Christmas anymore. It's now winter holiday. I think that ought to uh, disturb people Kira, that we're moving offensive. toward that kind of attitude in this country. The Puritans also outlawed Christmas. The founding fathers of this country would fine you in, in Massachusetts if you celebrated Christmas at the beginning. So don't talk about Nazis, Bob. Well, I think that's really inappropriate. Why well, do you have to bring to hate Union, to this Christmas and holiday Father season? Frost. That's so sad, Bob. Well, it's the so truth. Sad. You ought to read the book yourself. Well, Bob, it's just sad that you have to raise Nazis when you're talking about Christmas and the holiday season. And we all know that Christmas actually, uh, Tannenbaum, it's a German holiday. It, Bob, I, I'm really, really disappointed in, in you. It, it, oh, I'm it, sorry it, to disappoint you, but if, you're, if you can't understand a, a, the, the uh, force of history... To bring I'm, up I'm Nazis, Bob? You a Nazi. Oh, God. Oh, who are you calling a Nazi? Gentlemen, who are you calling a Nazi? We gotta sir? let it there. I'm not. We could probably continue. You are, sir. <laughs> Sam Cedar. I'm offended. Air oh, America Radio. Very much offended. Bob Knight, Director of Culture and Family Institute. Gentlemen, obviously, right hey, it's a discussion. Everyone's talking about it. That is for yes. sure. Or a lot of people are talking about. It, I should say. Yes. Now I'm just curious. Do I say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, uh, Happy Hanukkah? Which, what, what well, do you guys? I'd like to say Merry Christmas. So don't Sam, cut and Sam? From, Don't cut and run from the war on Christmas. Thanks, gentlemen. Talk to you later. Thank you.